guys, we're in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Due to the success of our last video and requests from many of you, we're back to search out six more hidden gems that are right under your nose and you wouldn't even know it. So join us as we escape the crowds to find these hidden gems. Let's get going. All right guys, we have arrived at another hidden gem in the Great Smoky Mountains. We are on our way to find an old abandoned steam engine from the 1920s. We're taking Grapeyard Ridge Trail from the Greenbrier Inn to Campsite 32. And the steam engine should be about three miles down this trail. So let's go check it out. All right guys, we have reached the steam engine. The history behind this steam engine is that back in the 1920s, loggers used to operate in these mountains. And the driver of this steam engine, which is a Nicholas and Shepherd Company steam tractor engine, was actually drunk and drove it off the side of the cliff. It rolled down the mountainside and landed in this creek, which was later named Engine Creek, spelled I-N-J-U-N, because the surveyor who came across the wreckage couldn't spell engine. We have made it to a hidden gem in the middle of Gatlinburg that many people walk past and don't even know about. We are at White Oak Flats Cemetery. The best way to get here is to go in the village, walk all the way back past the restrooms, and up the hill. That roadway will take you directly to the entrance. This is actually one of the area's oldest cemeteries being established in 1830. And it's the resting place of many ancestors that started Gatlinburg, which was known as White Oak Flats. One significant grave here is that of Wiley Oakley. Wiley Oakley is so fondly remembered in Gatlinburg because few did more to share the love of the Great Smoky Mountains than he did. He was nicknamed the Roman Man of the Mountains. He was a legendary wilderness guide with notable visitors like FDR, Henry Ford, and J.D. Rockefeller. He was also a popular um, storyteller. He shared his stories of the mountains on radio broadcasts all across America. He believed deeply in conservation and was an invaluable resource when creating the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. He believed that nature ought to be preserved and that it was sacred. When he passed away in 1954, Tennessee congressman said that he was and is the living spirit of the Great Smoky Mountains. All right guys, we are in Bryson City, North Carolina, and we are on our way to see an abandoned tunnel tucked away in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park called the Road to Nowhere. To get here, you're gonna take Lakeview Drive East from Bryson City up about three and a half miles to the parking lot right behind us, and you can walk directly to the tunnel. So let's go check it out. In 1943, the Tennessee Valley Authority built the Fontana Lake and Dam. This caused problems in the area because it relocated many families because it flooded Highway 288, which was their only route in and out of the area. The federal government promised to build a 30-mile replacement road, but over 20 years they'd only built six miles of the road and the tunnel. In 1972, they finally halted construction, and the citizens of Bryson City um, made many efforts to try to get the federal government to fulfill its promise. In 2010, um, the federal government paid a $52 million settlement instead of completing the project. We have done a full video on this tunnel um, that you can check out after this video. Hey guys, quick reminder, if you like this video, please make sure to actually hit the like button. It really does help our channel out. If you'd like to support our channel further, we have this awesome thanks button that YouTube has provided for us. It's a way to support our channel monetarily if you so wish. Thank you guys for all of your support. We really appreciate it. Let's get back to it. We are at another hidden gem. This one is just right outside the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We are at Water Rock Knob and Browning Knob near Maggie Valley, North Carolina, and we're heading to the location of where a plane went down in 1983. We're gonna show you guys how to get there because it's a little off the beaten path. So let's get going. All right, we have made it to Water Rock Knob. If you are coming up the trail to come see the plane, if you've made it this far, you've, made, you've gone a little bit too far. You're gonna wanna turn around and go back down the trail just a little bit. Right after the stone stairs, there's a path to the right and you're gonna take that little footpath. Somebody has spray painted a blue arrow on the rock. It may be there when you come up here, but you're gonna take that little path to the right to see the plane crash. So once you've reached this part of the trail, you've reached a nice opening with a beautiful view to the left. If you don't continue straight, go right down the trail. There's a blue arrow on a stone and you're gonna continue this way. All right guys, we have reached the spot of the plane crash. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call this a gem, a hidden gem in the Smokies. Uh, but it is an interesting spot to see. It's very sombering to be out here. 
Um, so when you do come out here, be respectful. Also, if you're not an avid hiker, probably not the best trail for you. It's very strenuous, pretty dangerous. Um, so if you come out here, just be careful. All right, guys, we have made it to our next hidden gem. This is Ghost Town in the Sky in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. It's just right outside the Great Smoky Mountains, about 15 minutes down the road from Water Rock Knob and the Browning Knob plane crash site. This park was opened in May 1961. It's a long closed Wild West theme amusement park. After the park's opening, they introduced a two seat uh, chairlift to the top of the mountain and it was actually the longest one in North Carolina and the second largest one in the United States at that time. In July 2002 though, there was an incident where the chairlift actually stopped working, stranding passengers for over two hours. Due to the park's condition and um, the chairlift incident, the owner decided to shut down the park and it's remained closed ever since. All right guys, we're here to find another hidden gem in the Great Smoky Mountains. Today, we're gonna find another steam engine. This one is off the trail. It's right under Clingman's Dome. We're taking Forty Ridge Trail down to Forney Creek Trail. And from there on the right side, there should be a stone indicator that we're gonna take off the side of the trail about 1.85 miles to find this steam engine. Let's go check it out. All right, we have reached Forney Creek Trail. It's about a mile and a half down Forney Ridge Trail. It's to the right. If you continue straight, that's Andrews Ball Trail. But now we're gonna take Forney Creek Trail and be looking for the rock indicators on the right side of the trail. We've made it a little bit down Forty Creek Trail and this massive rock is a sign that we should be looking for the rock indicator on the right. It should be right after this rock. So just right after that really big rock to the right of the trail, you're gonna see these three little stacked rocks and some uh, trees laying down on this trail. And that's your only indicator that this is the trail to the steam engine. All right guys, we've made it to another steam engine. This is technically a boiler. So before 1926, the Norwood Lumber Company clear cut pretty much the south side of Clingman's Dome. And this was a boiler that was used to produce steam to operate a winch that would pull the logs up to the train cars. Super cool to see it just out in the middle of nowhere. The history, there's so much history in these mountains. It's really cool to come across. All right guys, so that was six more hidden gems in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Hopefully the next time you guys are in the park, you can check a few of those out and see them for yourself. As we mentioned before, if you haven't seen our previous video, make sure to check that out. It'll be pinned to the end screen. As always, we had a wonderful time searching out these hidden gems and we know you will as well. If you love the Great Smoky Mountains as much as we do, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of our Smoky Mountain adventures. Thank you guys for watching. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.